print email Facebook Twitter more artist Mark Raz on making Star Wars, Indiana Jones's movie posters Perth graphic designer and artist Mark Raz is the hand behind the posters for some of the most iconic Hollywood movies of recent years. Most recently, he put pen to poster for Blade Runner 2049, Indiana Jones and the Kingdom of the Crystal Skull and the upcoming Star Wars film, Solo. Raz said he had longed to work in the film world since he was a child, when his parents took him to the cinema to see Disney's Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs, but it took decades to realize his dream. I thought that was amazing, that you could make something as a drawing or a painting have life, Raz told Gillian O'Shaughnessy on ABC Radio Perth, Media Player, Space to Play, M to Mute, Left and Right to Seek, O O colon O O 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 drawing for George Lucas Raz began working in animation in the 1970s in his native South Africa. In the 1980s he moved into the fledgling computer graphics industry and from there came in contact with Star Wars creator George Lucas Film Company. What I did was internal work. I worked a bit for Industrial Light and Magic, Lucas Special Effects Facility, Raz said. The first drawing that George saw of mine was actually a cartoon I did of him as Yoda. I had given it to a very good friend of mine and through the magic of the internet this drawing ended up at Skywalker Ranch and I got this very formal email which demanded to know if I had done it. I was very worried because I thought maybe I had offended him, but he was very happy and he wanted to buy the original. From then on it morphed rapidly into doing movie posters. The first poster he made for Lucas was a teaser for the fourth Indiana Jones movie, Kingdom of the Crystal, Skull, in 2008. Preferring Perth The reason he lives in Perth and not California is due to a chance discussion with a friend 17 years ago, when he was planning to move from his home in Johannesburg to Hollywood. I was seriously looking at positions in the big animation studios in Los Angeles, he said. And a very good friend of mine who lives here said, why don't you come to LA via Perth? you'll love it here. So my wife and I decided the next time I was going to LA we would come this way round. We landed here and just absolutely loved it and decided then and there we would rather live here. The legacy of poster art his posters for the Lucas films are all hand drawn and painted to design concepts he submits to the studios. I can do computer graphics, but I made it a policy years ago that if I was doing anything for the movie industry it would be paint and pencil on board, Raz said. There is a legacy to poster art that I think has been lost with the Photoshop montages that are thrown out these days, that are really clunky and badly designed. I think with an original painting you have something that harkens back to the golden age of Hollywood. For Star Wars or Indiana Jones or Blade Runner I think it is important to keep it traditional. On meeting Lucas in person, Raz said, he is very introverted. I don't know him well, I have met him very fleetingly on a couple of occasions. He is an immensely gifted man, he is a very private man, and he is not the kind of guy that you would sit down and just have coffee with. What I am very grateful for is, that he has been immensely supportive of me personally. Drawing Harrison Ford Raz has also got to know actor Harrison Ford's face extremely well. Having drawn him many times for both Star Wars and Indiana Jones releases, he's incredibly difficult to draw I have to say, he said. There is something quirky about his looks that are really hard to nail, although the irony is that I'm probably best known for all the work I've done with Harrison. Since Lucas sold his film company, Lucasfilm, to Disney, Ra's work has become more complicated as he now has to deal with more people rather than getting his design straight in front of the director for approval. But his latest poster for Solo, a Star Wars story, which focuses on the character of Han Solo and his faithful sidekick the Wookiee Chewbacca, he was given free reign. They just said, we want you just to do something awesome, Ra's said.